Let's talk about concurrency with promises in JavaScript. So say you've got those two promises above, but one doesn't depend on the other and say they take one second each. Waiting for both, serially, will take two seconds total. Now the next thing you could do to speed things up is use promise.all. Then you can run both requests in parallel, and if they took one second each, instead of taking two seconds for both to come back, it would just take one. There is one drawback of this approach though. If each of the promises returns an error, you actually won't be able to handle each error individually. An even better approach can be to use promise.all settled. You still get the performance benefits, but you can handle the values or rejection of each of the promises individually. So this can be a great approach to speed things up if you're running many things serially that could be done in parallel. But remember, there's a few caveats. Don't overdo it. You don't want to run 100 promises in parallel running too many, you know, network requests or disk requests or stuff like that can have drawbacks. So you might want to use batching or queuing or continue to use serial operations if that's better for your use case. Similarly, this can sometimes add complexity. So if it's just cleaner, simpler, better developer experience to run your requests serially and it's not causing a performance problem, it could be best to just keep it that way. But for simple use cases where your user experience will clearly benefit and there aren't other clear drawbacks, it can be really great to run some of these network requests concurrently when they can be.